Hello. Hey, Tom. It's really good to see you again, Chris. I was expecting some sort of drama. What's, what's going on? There's Michaela. This is Bob. Hi. They're the owners here. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. They had an unexpected visitor in the hen house today, and uh, we've got something up there we'd like you to have a look at. Good boy, aren't you? What is that? My first reaction when I see the python is he's a big boy, but then straight away, you're drawn to this lump. It's huge and it's hard. But what the hell is it? I think it's a marble egg. A, a, a marble egg? Yeah, yeah. What, they're, like, they're laying marble eggs in here now? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Now we put them in there to encourage the chickens to use particular boxes, because they all crowd into one box. So we put in a fake egg, and I think he's eaten it. You're kidding me. Uh -huh. Python was just doing what pythons do. They go looking for meals. So he's come around here, looked for a few eggs, then found the mother load. You want this back? I'd like it back if I could, please. <laughs> Michaela's sister gave her the egg as a gift. It's about the size of a duck egg. I think it's about that big. I've been trying to think of a name for him, and the one that really makes sense to me, Rocky. It's just because he's obviously got to fight in his hands. That's, that's the only reason. There's a lot of joking around, but medically, this is quite serious. I would have hoped that this python may have even had a chance at regurgitating this egg back up, but now looking at where it's lodged, it's just too far down. Even you know, with all the, the great forceful digestion these guys have, all the enzymes, yeah. you can't break down marble. My feeling is it's going to be really hard to avoid surgery here because that egg can't get out any other way. And if it was to stay there, it's going to block up his digestion, it's going to cause a lot of pain, and it will eventually kill him. Chris is a long way from Bondi Beach. He's now on a mercy dash into Coffs Harbour with a sick snake that's managed to swallow a large marble egg. Drove gently. Tom from the That's rescue group Wise has arranged very. for Rocky the Python to be x-rayed at a local vet to. hospital. He's in pretty good condition, condition really, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. He's, He's so healthy. shiny. Yeah. yeah. Very healthy. You can actually see the outline of it there. Mm. So you can see the other eggs that it's eaten. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's no doubt what was going on. <laughs> so, two small eggs and one large. It's a lot bigger than I actually thought it would be. And it's probably pressing on his skin and the wall of his intestine and stomach probably a bit more than I, I'd hoped it would have been. So this is now probably a bit bigger deal than we thought. Rocky needs to go under the knife immediately. The one main weakness of reptiles is stress. They don't really handle it too well and can mean you can actually lose them under anaesthetic or after the operation. The problem is getting them asleep. Once they're asleep, hopefully it will all go OK, but then you've got to wake them up at the end as well. The quicker the surgeon is, the safer it is for the animal. The snakes have a habit of twisting under anaesthetic. The way you prevent the twisting is tape them to a board. The big test will be whether he'll feel the incision. The tricky thing is, it's going to be a decent sized incision to remove something that is so huge. vessel sitting exactly where I don't want it to be, just right where the incision is, so just having to do a little bit of a sidestep around that. Just very conscious of the fact that blood loss is a big issue with snakes and, and surgeries, and with Rocky already being under stress here, we've got to be especially careful with that, so it's all about keeping bleed him to an absolute minimum. I can feel it on my scalpel blade, I've hit something that isn't snake, it's stone. Chris has finally seen the marble egg that's landed Rocky in so much trouble. As any good chicken knows, it's hard to pass an egg. So this is going to be a little bit tricky to get this out. There we go. One marble egg with African pattern with a beautiful zebra featured on the front of it. The thing that really surprised you is just how heavy it is. It's really solid and really heavy. And 
actually for, for Rocky, this is actually the most dangerous part because if he was to actually have some sort of leakage from this wound here, then that's going to cause a serious infection and it'd be enough to kill him for sure. So this is the last stitch here. The hardest thing right now is just the waiting. We've got through the surgery, everything's been done, and now we just want Rocky to spring back to life and that'll make me feel better, but now it's just nothing going on. It's now three hours since the surgery finished and the python still hasn't woken up. He's cold, so his whole metabolism slowed right down. If we can speed up his metabolism, he's going to wake up a bit faster. And then the sign everyone has been hoping for. There we go. It's just starting to curl up his tail here now, so... It's our first signs of, of real life here. Look at that. Oh, really? Hey, buddy. Oh. <laughs> You're waking up. Everyone's happy. Tom. Hi, Chris. Mate, our patient. One slightly slimmer snake. Oh, look at this. He's still a little bit groggy. He looks great. And one slightly used decorative marble egg. That's remarkable. <laughs> Is that something? The fight's not over for Rocky because he has to get through the anaesthetic, recover from that tonight, and then tomorrow really focus on healing internally. Thank you very much. That's all right, mate. But tonight really decides whether he has a great future or not. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. No worries. Yeah. Cheers. Dom. Hey, Chris in here. How you going? Hey, mate. How you going? Good. How are you? Good to see you. <sighs> I'm nervous, mate, OK? That's, that's how I am. I understand. It's been less than 24 hours since Chris removed this marble egg from Rocky. Without emergency surgery, the python would have died. Look, mate, I'm really happy with how that looks. It's nice and clean. He's been fantastic. He's had more sleep than I've had, and I'm tired now. <laughs> Oh, he's going back to the, the favourite position, <laughs> the blue hand position, he calls it. Um, just trying to finish me off once and for all. Chris's rescue mission in Coffs Harbour is almost complete. There's just one last matter to attend to. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's it, right? <laughs> Uh, um, yeah. It looks a bit different. <laughs> what would it look like before? I think it was orange. It was orange before. <laughs> it's now pink. Jeez. <laughs> it is quite different. Is that actually. a stomach acid? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. I was really happy to have this back, but more importantly, I'm happy that Rocky's actually survived this. As much as it pains me to say it, Dad was right. I don't think I'll ever see a snake with that sort of problem ever again. But. I don't think I'll see this weekend again either. It's gone. So 